That would be nice. Unfortunately, you can never get 100% of anything back from what you start. And of course, we make our lives so much difficult, more difficult by not sorting it properly or mixing it with other things. So you've always got losses, whether they be losses on the original collection, in other words, it's mixed with something else and therefore the something else has to be thrown away and thus goes in landfill. However, some plastics are actually uh, well recycled. So you can think of polyethylene bottles and you can think of uh, PET bottles. And you can take a PET bottle as a good example. A PET bottle, um, itself is about 90% recyclable. If you think, why is it not 100%? It's simply got a, a different top, it's got a label on it which has to be taken off. And then, of course, you may have left a little bit of liquid in it, so the weight of it is actually slightly more than it should be. But 90 to 95% is a, is a reasonable target for a PET bottle. But of course, a PET bottle is just not left with another PET bottle. It's left with a whole load of other stuff. It might be an old shoe, it might be a piece of cloth, and all this needs to be sorted out. And of course, if you haven't got the infrastructure to do that and then you haven't got the ability to sort the different mixed coloured plastics then you'll end up with a sort of a mushy grey thing which can't be used for anything. So I think all that is one of the reasons why we don't get one kilo for one kilo but is it possible? It's certainly near to possible for things like a milk bottle and a PET drinks uh, or beverage bottle. <laughs>